Well, we're back out here on the 63 today. Of what got a little bit of time here, I'm gonna try to pull this out and get all the parts out of it so we can check out the floor pans and stuff and uh, see if, see how Steffi's gonna like her new uh, driver. The right, Steffi. Well, it's gonna be your number one grocery getter, huh? If you say. Well, you got to say you like it, don't you? I no. It'll be your grocery getter, not mine. Oh no, just think of all the stuff you could pile in this. No thanks, I'm good. So did you want this to come equipped with a 440 or a 383? I'll let you decide since you'll be the driver. Oh no, you'll be driving this. Oh, I can't no. I can't fit in it, so you'll have definitely have to drive it. No. So. <laughs> no. Nope. But uh, we're gonna get it out here and get Steffi shoved in it, see how she fits in it and how she likes it. And, but we're gonna get all the junk out of the inside of it. And then just see how the see how the car looks out here where we can see something underneath of it and i started taking some of the stuff out last night and it's he's pretty much like he said everything's here to it so far i've seen i mean there's still a lot of stuff in the car but there's a lot of parts and extra parts but really it's just the stuff that goes to it so but he's got all the here's all the the door mechanisms they've all been recad plated they're pretty nice. All the there's the door uh, handles and the door panels. We got them and the, all the rods and stuff to the door locks. The horn buttons, the pieces for the dash, kick panels, gas pedal, brake pedal. This is a swing bar kit for the side of the door or the side the roll bar right there. But there's all the window uh, cranks and door locks and but he's pretty much got everything here to it but we're gonna roll her outside and get the rest of this crap out of here and uh, see what see what the floors and stuff look like in this and uh decide if we're going to pull this cage out or not but i think the cage is going to have to i don't know i have to maybe we'll get it out here i'll get in it and see how see how it fits if it will if i can't even fit in it but but we'll see what see how she feels and uh See what she looks like underneath a little better. But I'll bring it right back as soon as I get her pushed outside here. All right, just got everything cleaned out of that. Uh, looks like for the most part, everything's pretty much here. I mean, some, I'm just glad that, well, the chrome for the fenders and stuff's all here. Looks like every piece of that's here. The pieces to the rear tailgate, all them pieces are here. Uh, the hood and the tailgate badge. The 330 emblems are here, the little fender, the Dodge 330 emblem. And then horn buttons, there's all the window cranks. That's a, like I say, a, a swing bar for the roll cage. Cluster, I'm gonna try to, I'll clean that one up, but I'm gonna try to find a nicer one. Um, and it's just, there's the reverse lights, arm pads, front parking lights bumper brackets there's all them cad plated door max all the bolts and everything like even the the wing windows he's put new rubbers in them he's got new rubbers in them and also uh, the rear windows they've got new rubbers in them too before them and then uh here's the the door panels they're not bad at all they just need cleaned up there's some more pieces to the flooring for the tailgate or for the throughout the back of the behind the seat the rear seat there's a hood mac there's all the headlight headlight buckets and wipers and then over here we got some of the trim on the inside the wiring harness the under the back harness some more pieces, the chrome, there's an extra, there's the rear tailgate piece. That's the only piece I was really hoping was here and it's here because those are super hard to find They go up the sides. And there's the piece that goes across the bottom or the top of the tailgate right here. That piece goes along right there. But this is a spare tailgate he gave me because the other one, the other tailgate, it was, it was rotted at the bottom so he let me have this one, which is a pretty nice tailgate. 
Then there's uh, another floor piece for the very back for where the spare tire goes. And here's that piece that went where they put that four speed looking hump in the front of it. But there's a piece to, to replace it, to fix it, and the training mount. And then, uh, I don't know, let's take a look at the car. Let's see, here's some more of the trim up there. But look at the, look at the back of this. Has it all been media blasted? Epoxy prime. I guess that's epoxy. I don't know. They did this years ago, so it might not even be epoxy. I don't know. It might just be regular black primer or something. But they've cut a sump for like a fuel cell or something to go through the floor. I wish they wouldn't have done that. But it's, it's pretty solid. Let's look up here at the other side of it. There's the rear seat. It just needs cleaned up. I mean, it's dirty, but it ain't all tore up. Let's look inside here. And the door jams, there's no rust. Nothing. And they did the cage, they tied the frame. Run up through the floor and tied it. But this floor is just absolutely perfect in here. On the back, anyways. Like I say, I think they patched the front. I'll look at it here in a second, but, but it's pretty solid. All the doors, I guess. I wish all the regulators and stuff wasn't out of these, but got everything. It's all in there, all the regulators and stuff over. With this front floor pan, you can see it's been patched. They put patches in it kind of crudely. Not real good job, but it's it's in there. It doesn't matter. This ain't gonna be no show car, but with that four-speed hump, that's gonna have to. I might have to get with Brewers if I decide to put a four-speed in it and put the the correct offset four-speed in it hump or whatever, because it's off to the side. Maybe get some pedals off of him. But the seat's in good shape. The dash. Everything's here for the dash. I think uh, the speaker grill. I didn't see it. I think it's still in Dwayne's truck. I got it. Didn't see no radio, but I think I got a radio. This dash is just laying in here. Ain't gonna touch it. <laughs> it's gonna fall out. But, but it's they media blasted the whole car. As far as the inside and the underneath. I mean I don't think they did these fenders and the outside of it. But yeah. Yeah. Like I said, I'm gonna find me another grill. Underneath the hood, it's, there's no rust on the cow. None that I see. I mean, it could have been fixed before. Like I say, that's a 62K member which is coming out. If anybody happens to need a 62K member for whatever reason, you're more than welcome to have this one because when it comes out, I'm not gonna do nothing with it. If somebody needs a 62K member, just let me know and you can have it. The only thing I'm gonna use off this suspension, I'll probably use the the drum brake uh, spindles. So when I get my brakes and stuff, they'll bolt right on them spindles. So let's look underneath up again while it's outside. Maybe you see see it a little bit better. Let's see. Tied the frame. Put out to the rocker. Looks like you put a pan in right here too. Uh, yep, the rear pans have been patched on it also. You see where they did it? They patched it. Yep. Or no, that's the that's the front. Yeah, that's where they patched the front of it. Well, that's the back. Let me put a patch in it. Let's see. I'm gonna have to get under here and get that coated with some 415. That's just all raw metal back here where it's been blasted. Huh. Yeah. There's a hell of a frame tie in it. It runs clear up into the torsion bar. Pretty clean. Let's look at the very back 
colors on. Let me jump around to the back one. We'll check it out. I don't know well you can see it, but <clears throat> it's pretty, pretty clean. They put that piece there in for like a sump for a cell. Back through here and up here, it's all. I gotta get some poor 15 on that immediately. Quarters don't look like they've been packed full of mud. Yeah. Huh. Very don't look like it's very. It ain't even tightened up in it. Oh well. Not putting no dane or nothing in it. <clears throat> I'm gonna change change these axles out because it's still got the, the stupid nuts on the axle but we don't even dent up in the up in the inner fender or the wheel well Let's see. Huh. like I say the springs SMW racing the paperwork's in there, they've done that. But you can see it needs to still needs the rubbers and the bushings put in it, but but yeah, I just wanted to give you a better look from yesterday because there wasn't much light, but I can't believe how solid this thing is. So let me jump back up here. All right. Now the only problem is I'd like to, you know, anybody watching this video, I'd like to paint this car or have it painted before I go putting it back together. It's all the glass and stuff's out of it other than the windshield. But I don't know what color I'd paint it. I mean, interior, <clears throat> interior is probably gonna stay the gold color. So I was thinking maybe something like black and gold, black with the gold stripes across the top or something, or I don't know. But I like that seafoam green. I don't like the color, but I like it on a 63. I think it looks really good on the 63. I thought about that color too. And then I also thought about like a four door Larry's car where it's maroon, it's two tone maroon and white. I like that look on his car also. Maybe make it a maroon on the bottom, on the body line and then white on top and then put the maroon stripes across the top with like a little gold pinstripe or some kind of pinstriping on, this, on the stripes. But I don't know if somebody give me some ideals or something in the comments. Just let me know what you think. Try to I just I'd like to paint it black, but man, it's a lot of work trying to keep one clean. I mean this car it's pretty straight. Wouldn't say it's hundred percent straight, but it's it'd probably look alright black, but it don't matter how straight you got something black shows everything. So well, I'm just kinda I like black, but I'm kind of leaning toward away from that because it's just too much cleaning and maintenance and trying to keep it looking good. So if anybody's got a color that they can think of might look good with this gold interior or tan interior, just let me know some ideas or something. But but I do like the seafoam green, but I like the two-tone maroon and white too. This Ford or Larry's car looks good with that color. But I just want to give you another update with everything out of it and show you what what we're working with here and then uh, like I say we're going to Clay City tomorrow so if anybody's coming down Dwayne will be down there or I'll be down there with Dwayne we're all, he's gonna be running the CUDA so we're gonna see what it's see how it's gonna run now with the new carburetor see how it's gonna act and then oh also uh, one other thing no big deal but I got the another, I do got another K member for it. So I'm gonna clean that up and put that K member in it. And then I got the original hood also to it. It's a super nice hood. So, so the, the hood that, uh, that's on it, I'll probably maybe put a scoop on that hood, but I'm not gonna cut on the, the original hood. I'm not gonna tear it up. But I, that's it for now, I guess. Uh, I guess we'll see him down at Clay City. I'll get a few a few videos of some cars and stuff down there in the CUDA and hopefully there'll be some wagons down there I can check out and 
just meet up with a lot of friends and stuff down there we'll see you this weekend and get some good shots of their cars we'll get them on the channel this weekend so but if you're coming to clay city stop in and uh say hi and uh we should be down there all weekend if we don't get rained out but but we'll be there all three days no matter what so but just keep like sharing and subscribing <laughs>